Hi, Dr. Dave Heimarsh, GP Templates. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest update from System 1 with regards to the auto review and the auto review rules. I'm just getting my head around it, so I'm going to sort of share with you where I'm at at the moment. I've done a couple of rules and I can see where they're going. It's an excellent update so thank you very much tpp for this one so we're going to cut over to it what i'll do is i'll leave a couple of links below they've got some really useful pdf documents that you can take yourself slowly but i'll show you sort of as well how to sort of start to implement them as well okay all the links for these documents will be down below so let's jump over to system one and i'll show you what to do first so what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to system one i'm going to show you where to go now Okay, so first and foremost, we need to find, uh, we need to actually turn on within the organization. I've already done it, but I'll just show you where it is. So set up users and policies, organizational preferences. And then if you scroll down, you'll see that there'll be pathology and then auto reviewing. Now it will turn out and it'll be like this. So it'll be blank. Okay, so you need to turn on and you need to select who can see it. So out of all of those available staff members, I've put me across by putting the arrow across. Once you've done this, you may need to reboot system one because sometimes it doesn't quite pick it up. Okay, so that's the first step. The next step, and you know you've got it working, is that under workflow support, you'll get this pathology results and auto review rules engines, and that's what we're going to talk out. Okay, so let's go on to this and we'll sort of show some basic ones that we've been doing. Okay, so the first one that I've done is a serum. Um, thyroid stimulating hormone level. Now it's worthwhile actually getting the results printed off because you need to search for the individual re read codes and that can be a sort of a bit of a faff. So for something that comes in as an isolated report like TSH, it's fairly simple. They just found the read code here. So I'm just going to amend the rule set because this is what it comes out with. So it comes out with title, I've just put it as serum. Um, so only applies to batteries under investigations matching. Now put the code in, okay? So have a look at how it comes into your pathology inbox. If it comes as a read code, brilliant, just add that in. So read code selector and then find it there. You then need to fill in these particular rules, okay? So let's just, uh, as an example, let's just do this. So, and it will pop up with this again, and you'll say TSH normal. Okay, only implies, and then results unknown, and then one of the following applies. Result from the port, we can put it as normal. And then add a further sort of part to it. Okay, so for example, that's where we need the TSH. So let's sort of select it here. We go thyroid stimulating hormone. A bit of a hint, it's going to be one of these numeric values. Okay, so this little, uh, little one there. But I know already that it's the XA... ELV that I actually need. So it's TLS. And then flick it down between, you want numeric range, and then put it between. Now, this answers the obvious question of why haven't they just rolled this out countrywide, is because of this box here. Okay. As you're probably well aware the lab results will vary from region to region, and so your laboratory will do, you know, sample and they would have a standard deviation range for all individual results, okay? And that is why they can't just blanket it out there, okay? So that's happy from that way. Add those in there, and then you'll end up with something that looks like this. So we'll edit this one. So you see here I've just got Results report of any of one of the following applies, and then basically I've put the respective ranges as per our labs, and that's it done. We know it works and we know it's active when we can go over to our pathology lists, and they're going to blur a load of patients' information out. So these are live patients. Is if you select, say, for example, your TSH report, and you go preview, preview auto review rules, and you can see it will pop up our TSH normal. And then you'll see here it's passed. Okay. Likewise, I've done one for the uh, ACR, so ACR being a normal value, preview auto review rules, normal ACR value, passed. Okay. So I've just done those two. Um, what I'm going to do is we now, because I'm activated to do it and I've checked the patient's notes, is apply the auto review reports. They've gone, do you want to? These are the six patients. Yes. And you'll see it sort of chunter through and apply all of them. Um, from that perspective and we just wait nicely and we can see here that these two are successful they've got a lovely success and tick 
hit close and they've all automatically been filed as per our rules okay so I can see what System 1 are doing and I can see why they put the onus on the individual practice because there are certain risks that I can I wouldn't want them to take. Um, we are then discussing with our practice because there are certain bits and pieces that you need to be mindful of. For example, TSH, you know, there is the argument of should when could it be normal but still abnormal okay so think about thyroid cancers think about pregnancies and so that you might not want to be that carte blanche now i checked this patient's record before we did this but interestingly you can add those safety elements to it so if we go back to the workflow support okay and the pathology and i think this is where we need to amend the rule set okay and if we edit it here it's this and it's sort of being able to add patients in particular reports. That's the real sort of benefit of this. So initially, we're discussing it as a practice in terms of what would be safe to do, okay? Um, so thinking about, you know, can we run a report on pregnancies, thyroid cancers, so that they're all captured? And then you can set a negative report, i.e. that they don't appear on that list, and then that would mean that these patients who are filed with normal TSH, they've not got any of those read codes, that it's safe to do so and safe to sort of action them away and do it from that way. Right, a very brief overview. I hope you found that useful and just sort of giving you a couple of tips. What I would love is if you could comment of where you would find this useful. Um, so I'm thinking about full blood counts that are completely normal, your thyroid stimulating hormones with those stipulations, ALTs that are completely normal. Comment below so I can start to build up and then I'll sort of do a further video. So hope you found that useful. Dr. Tate Vimash, GP Templates, please let me know what you would suggest.